Okay, we are starting with radio isotopes. We have seen the definition of isotopes. These are atoms of the same element which have same atomic number but they have different atomic mass numbers. So the number of protons is same but the number of neutrons is different. Okay, now we are taking example of the element cobalt that is Cu. Its atomic number is 27 from the periodic table and its atomic mass number is 59. This is the natural isotope of cobalt. Okay, there will be 27 protons and there will be 32 neutrons. Okay, 27 plus 32 gives us 59. So, 27 protons and 32 neutrons. This is the natural isotope, the natural cobalt which is present, it contains so many protons and neutrons. But suppose by some means, if I am able to add an extra neutron over here, now there will be 27 protons and there will be 33 neutrons. So, this cobalt will be represented like this. Its atomic number is not going to change. 27 protons are there. But its atomic mass number now will become 60. Now, this is not a natural isotope of cobalt. Somehow, by some means, I have added one extra neutron inside the nucleus of this cobalt atom. Now, this cobalt atom becomes such that it starts giving out some invisible rays. These rays are type of rays which are called as gamma rays. Okay. So, this is artificially prepared element. Okay, this is known as radioisotope of cobalt. Now, this radioisotope of cobalt has some usefulness. Okay, these invisible rays which are gamma rays which come out, they are able to kill the cells of cancer in the human body. So, cancerous cells which are there in the human body, this will be killed by these rays that are emitted by cobalt 60. But natural cobalt which is there, it is not able to emit out these radiations. These are known as radio isotopes. So, this was one of the uses of radio isotopes. Similarly, we have two more other uses of radio isotopes. For example, iodine 131. Okay. Its atomic number is 53. Okay. Natural iodine which is there, its atomic num mass number is 130 and its atomic number will be 53. So, this is our natural iodine and this is our isotopic iodine that is radioactive isotope. Now, where will this iodine find its use? It will find use in thyroid cancer treatment. Then one more medicinal use is there sodium, natural isotopes of sodium. Okay, its atomic number is 11, its mass number is 23. It means here there are 11 protons and there are 12 neutrons. 11 plus 12 is 23. But the isotopic sodium, that is radioisotope of sodium, is having atomic number 11, but its atomic mass number is 24. It means here it will have 11 protons and there will be 13 neutrons. So, on this addition of this extra neutron, this also emits out some rays which are going to be the rays from radioisotope of sodium that is sodium 24 it is called. Okay. Now, this is used in treatment of blood, detection of blood disorders. Similarly, we have an industrial use AM241. Okay, americium 241. It is used in industry for research purposes. 